Good morning. How's everybody today? Beautiful day here on the island and uh, I thought I'd share with you just something I've been reading in uh, the book of Jeremiah. And uh, any of you interested, Jeremiah, if you just go to the middle of the Bible and then go through the Psalms and Proverbs and then Isaiah and uh, the next one is Jeremiah. So it's just past the middle of the Bible. And if you don't want to do that, just Google it, uh, Jeremiah 28, and you'll find where I'm reading from. But anyway, uh, this is a story of, of two prophets, a story of two prophets and, and uh, the nation of Israel who at this time are in exile um, in uh, Babylon uh, with King Nebuchadnezzar as uh, he is the, the king that uh, rules over them at this time, and uh, it's about a, just to summarize it, it's about a prophet, uh, a false prophet, uh, Hananiah, who is prophesying that uh, God's going to put an end to this, that, uh, and, I, and I relate a lot to this because a lot of the things that we're going through today uh, in our world uh, with this uh, corona and just everything that's going on, and I can relate a lot to it. and and. Hananiah is predicting that there's going to be an end to this, that God's going to return his people and they're going to have prosperity. And it's that kind of wealth and prosperity belief that he is preaching. And uh, But he's a false prophet. He's not getting this from God. He's just doing it on his own agenda. And then there's another prophet, the prophet Jeremiah, who is a man of God, who uh, God is directing in what he says and what he does. And so anyway, uh, just to, as I summarized this story a little bit, uh, and Hananiah is prophesying that Israel will be brought back from exile within two years, and all their stuff's going to be returned to them, and they're going to have a good and a normal life. And Jeremiah says this to him. <laughs> he says, listen, Hananiah, the Lord hasn't sent you, and you have persuaded this nation to trust in lies. He just kind of says says it like it is. Like, why are you doing all this? Like, it, it's giving him false hope, and and it's not true. That's not what's happening. And when you compare the two prophets, I want to do this real quick between the false prophet and the, and a true prophet. The false prophet Hananiah, uh, he preached a, a quick fix. He preached, uh, in fact, even broke a wooden yoke that was on uh, Jeremiah's neck and uh, with his own power, of course, and he prophesied that that yoke would be broken and that people would all return. But it turned out that God replaced that, uh, said to, to Jeremiah that I'm going to replace that wooden yoke with an iron yoke, that my people aren't coming home yet, and this isn't over yet. And he was persuading people to trust in lies. He was persuading people to trust in him. And uh, he preached uh, more or less a rebellion uh, against God. And Jeremiah, on the other hand, now this is this is the difference. Jeremiah, on the other hand, uh, number one, it, it's not, he said it's not a blame game. It's not everyone else's fault. <laughs> and that includes Nebuchadnezzar. It's not everybody else's fault. He said, as most true prophets of God said, and said all along, you know, you, you folks need to look at yourselves. You need to look at what you're doing, and are you trusting in God? Are you worshiping God? Are you doing the things that God commands you to do? Look at yourself first. That's what, that's what Jeremiah said. And I think we have to learn that too, that it's not a blame game, that we, we, we need to look at ourselves in this whole situation. And the the next thing here is, um, who do you put your who do you put your trust in? You know, uh, have have you changed your ways? Have I changed my ways? We need to look at that. And are we doing something about the problem? And I think that's the big thing. And that's what uh, true prophets always taught. Jeremiah said that a true prophet, the prophesied peace. Uh, if the prediction come true, who are we trusting in? What is true peace? In other words, he said, people that, that preach peace, preach the truth about peace, you know, we have to look at that and think, you know, what is peace? What is the truth? 
what is true peace? Well, Numbers 6.24, it starts off in the Old Testament and says this, May the Lord turn his face toward you. May the Lord, may God Almighty turn his face toward you and give you peace. That's one of the first things we see in the scriptures about peace. In the Proverbs 14.30, and I like this one too, it says, A heart at peace gives life to the body. I like that. Uh, a heart at peace gives life to the body. Isaiah introduces Christ as the Prince of Peace, the one that would come uh, as the Prince of Peace into a world that so needed a Savior, so needed love. And Romans 5.1 says that we have peace with, with God through Jesus Christ. And the last one, Jesus himself said this, In me you have peace. In this world, you'll have trouble. But he says, take heart. Jesus said, take heart. I've overcome the world. That's where I'm going to place my hope. That's where I'm going to place my trust. Not in false prophets, not in fake news. <laughs> I'm going to place it in God through Jesus Christ. Have a good day. God bless you all.